Hello Cancer, welcome to your reading. So this reading I'm going to be using a different deck of cards today. Um, these are Moonology cards, Harmony Angel cards, um, Seasons, Celestials, um, Moon Totems, Moon Signs. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a couple of deck cards I'm going to be using for your reading. So let's dive in. Okay, so you have the first card, which is Moon in Libra with avoid making serious decisions and instead of focusing on creating harmony within your relationships. Waxing Moon, now is a good time for you to focus on achieving your own personal goals. in Scorpio negative attitudes and fiery arguments are possible at this time channel your energies into positive physical activities like decorating or gardening moon in Aries remain sensitive to others to avoid any confrontation Moon in Virgo, issues surrounding your health and exercise may come to the fore. Focus on your physical well-being. Dark Moon, spend time in contemplation and meditation in order to seek greater understanding of yourself and those around you. Cat Totem, make time to focus on your own spiritual well-being and connect to the metaphysical world around you. Moon in Taurus, now is the time for focusing on your finances and practical matters. Cow totem, a new beginning or even a new life may be blooming. Okay. You have the sun. So, energizing, active, dynamic force. Also, there is well being this represents. Feeling brighter, happier, and healthier. This is connected to different cycles. Um, there is to be personal healing, good fortune in all areas of life, health, success, and prosperity or new impulse to assist in your life. You may also want to consider tailoring your activities to suit the cycle of the sun. Water. So this is connected to relationships, love, emotions. This is because it's fluid, as our, same as our feelings. This is also true friendships and marriages. Relates to the subconscious mind, constantly shifting, active beneath the surface and affect moods, emotional responses, to do with your sleep and your dreaming, and also to do with your subconscious. This can help with the form of healing and also emotional releases and sweeping away any steel, 
stale feelings that's inducing us to face the truth about oneself. Uranus. So this is also to do with um, what is appropriate, um, eccentricity, ridiculism, originality, intuition and inventiveness. It rules chaos. So it's linked to rebellion, anarchy and the unexpected. Also to do with freedom, unusual choices and risks. This can be to do with fresh beginnings, spontaneously taking risks and stepping into the unknown for change and to reform. The West. So this is to do with um, maturity of being an adult, consolidation and strength, to do with looking within, having time for self-examination and reflection, allowing transformation, experiences into knowledge and into spirit. This is to do with stop and evaluate in a situation time for self-evaluation and careful consideration as you prepare for new action and also to do with qualities of introspection. So we have the phoenix as the first one. To do with rebirth and eternity. So there is to be um, old endings and new beginnings to do with the rebirth. Also to reborn your mind, body and spirit. And for important new challenges to come in. Do not feel daunted. You will become stronger and more beautiful. That is to be empowering yourself to achieve to new heights. There is to be love and light coming in. And the reality may be transmuted but not destroyed. There is something coming in that's going to be sacred and everlasting. We have like a wonky clock. So angel of order this is, an angel of time. So making time for oneself. So you may be a person who spends your life racing against time, sometimes locked in stress. Feel like getting um, life is on top of you because you're so busy, you have no time to focus effectively on your own inner peace and well-being. Um, so try and use breathing space to focus on stillness and also you are going to be um, having some inspiration to do with treating a certain cause of a situation. You are going to think back to a time when you were happy and fulfilled. What happened since then? So many things in life lie outside of your control but you can change this and also you can have control. Leave behind the world, take personal responsibility by yourself and for yourself and take footsteps back to happiness and you will find a way to start again. Queens.
Okay, so this is Angel of Sagittarius with optimism, power of vision and expansion. Um, so you're going to be blessed with optimism. That is going to be bringing in ability to focus on action. There's to be good humoured, being blessed with wealth and ideas. There's to be determination, power of vision making projects come to fruition, being able to communicate your visions to others, giving them hope and encouragement, and becoming a stabilising influence. Time for you to expand your personal horizon, be literal, you could be a great traveller, you can also be experiencing inward or spiritual growth here as well. But this also warns you, however, that you have a tendency to be blunt and outspoken. You may also be stubborn, dogmatic, perhaps to the point of being domineering, which others resent. So this is about um, listening to your heart's opinion before you judge others um, and allow them to trust and value your own wisdom. Eight Rules of Heaven, which is honesty, rightness and integrity. So this is about integrity, rightness and honesty of behaviour in everyday life, which may maintain your connection with angels. Um, are you being honest with yourself? Are you completely satisfied with integrity and your rightness of all you do? Um, now is the time to give the concept of the eight criteria of your serious consideration. Will you be able to grow spiritually if the wellspring of your life contains any dishonesty or any self-deception? So there is plenty of choices come in for you. Zodiac, Angel of Leo, which means courage, leadership and loyalty. You are courageous, loyal and skilled. There is emotions, strong emotions and passions. You're proud, ambitious and full of love. You inspire others, particularly young people, which may lead you to situations where difficult decisions must be taken. You have such a situation to address, take time to invoke, to help you decide how and when whom you can take action. Angel Master of the Muses, which is to do with art, poetry and music. So there is to be some form of artistic expression of your profession that requires new inspiration. You may be denying expression to a creative talent that you know you have within yourself. Um, these are angels who produce musical harmonies of the heavenly spheres for you. Allow this divine melody to permeate you, being um, an inspired soul in a way that communicates to the soul of others. Okay, Moonology deck, the last deck for your reading. Okay, 
So you have new moon in Pisces with meditate and contemplate. Use your feelings to guide your way because your logic won't work right now. Face your fears, they may be holding you back. Situation is being healed. It's time to surrender to the divine. Chant Om Namo Narayani. Avoid being deceptive or willingly deceived. Full moon in Taurus with your dreams need a practical plan. Write down 10 things that you know you are wonderful about you. So laziness could explain your current situation. If so, change that and own it. Chasing money doesn't work. You need to chase a dream. Jealousy or envy creates negative energies and attract negativity. More exercise is being called for. Full moon in Gemini, the answers you need are coming. Have an important conversation, but stay calm. Don't be superficial. Someone is trying to flirt with you, have you noticed? You need to laugh off a situation and just move on. Job applications have good prospects. Full moon in Aquarius, show the world the real you. Be aware of your feelings, but also be prepared to move on. Don't lose the booty of romance of life. You are too much in your head. Get into your heart. A friend needs you to be there for them. Situation is going to take a very unexpected turn. New moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than to take. Recommit to healthy morning and evening routines. Gradual improvements are coming. Pay attention to detail if you want success without being pedantic. Be of service to others and love and many will follow. And the person you're asking about is reliable. And the last card is Balsamic Moon with a time for healing. So when one is healed, all are healed. It's time to let go of the past. You are about to turn the corner. You need more time to heal. Think about how the situation would look if everybody was healed. Okay then, Cancer, so that is your reading. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.